another short video about how to use different materials in different ways. So here we have a trampoline. This can be used for the little trampolines or the big ones. And uh, it's certainly okay for the kids or learners to get on and just jump freely. Um, you also can count their jumps. You can do a letter per jump. You could act out addition. So one plus one, so let's do one jump and then another jump. Um, we can uh, practice with speed. So like jump fast, jump slow, jump loud, jump quiet. Um, maybe we're doing some language arts or uh, yeah, language arts, literacy. We can jump for the syllables. So like um, jumping as two syllables, we can jump in that way. Uh, we can practice jumping high and jumping low. We can jump more or less, right? Numbers, we could show pictures of numbers and have them jump that much. We could sit on our bottom and have somebody else jump and kind of bounce them and make that fun. Um, something, you can see this one has the handlebars because it's a small one, handlebars, handle, I don't know. Um, you can hang things off that and they can um, sort of sit and reach up to touch colors. Or if you're doing some sort of receptive ID, you can even uh, tape them to the top of the bar so that if you're sitting down and you're reaching up to um, touch to identify whatever the identification is. You can even just sit and like I am on the floor and use this as a table. You can, um, right, which is you're probably like, well, gosh, why would we do that? What's well, flexibility, right? If we're working with kids with autism, it might be that we're sitting, you know, the trampoline is just for jumping so we can sit and use it as a table. It also can be tolerance of I'm here with the trampoline and I want to jump on it and I have to do this first, then I can jump right up and jump on it. Um, for kids who enjoy visual stimulation, you can put stuff, um, beads, marbles, container, or like little characters and sort of jump so that they go flying, which can be fun to watch. We can, you could put numbers on and make it a clock and you can put your hands or your legs for telling time. Um, you can even put like different colors or different items, uh, like 2D items down here instead of hanging from the bar so they can jump on the item um, to identify their response. You can put things under, on top, um, higher, lower. I think I said that for jumping. There's so many different ways that we can use this. We can even pretend that little characters are jumping and then I jump or um, we make them race. Cars can race around the safety part of the trampoline. So there's jumping is always good, right? Uh, and there's so many other ways that we can use this as a piece of furniture, uh, not necessarily just for jumping. Um, it also can be uh, sort of a piece of furniture that we can use um, to set up different stimuli as a work table that then can immediately flip into providing some reinforcement.